we're asking the big questions. Why are we all here? Where is it leading? And what's next for humanity? These were the questions that our Lord and Savior, Todd Howard, left us with at the end of Episode 2 of Into the Starfield. But the biggest question of all really has to be, what the hell is Starfield? Well, today I'm going to break down everything that we currently know about Bethesda's next upcoming game. And for any of you who are new here, <laughs> how's it going? Mr. Holton here. And with that out of the way, let's dive right in. So Starfield is the next game from Bethesda Game Studios, which is the studio most famously known for franchises like the Fallout series, and especially the Elder Scrolls. Stop right there, criminal scum! With titles such as Skyrim, which still holds up as the greatest open world fantasy experience in gaming, even to this day. But Starfield is not a fantasy game, neither is it a game that will be set on a post-apocalyptic Earth. Instead, Bethesda is taking their first real step into the world of space exploration, as Starfield is set 300 years into the future, when humanity has already left Earth, in an age where we can travel to different planets and even other solar systems. Bethesda has stated that Starfield is like a Skyrim in space, combined with a word they call NASA Punk, meaning that the design of the technology we will see in the game is reminiscent of that of NASA Space Gear, giving Starfield a very grounded and somewhat realistic view on what future space exploration could look like. From what we've seen in concept art, this type of look will mainly be related to the group known as Constellation, which, according to Bethesda, is the last group of space explorers in the universe of Starfield meaning that we'll mostly be traveling around in our NASA Punk spaceship, but we're probably going to see very different environments, technology, and perhaps even life forms other than humans as the game progresses, as we can see from concept art for the game. Supposedly, the story revolves around us discovering something important that could propel humanity forward. Where have we heard that before? What that exactly is remains to be seen, as more of the story hasn't been revealed yet. But what we do know is that the game is filled to the brim with factions. There is the United Colonies, which is the largest and most powerful faction in Starfield, reminiscent of the UN or United Nations of today, meaning that they're the main governance for humanity, or so it seems. There is the Free Star Collective, who were in conflict with the United Colonies in what was called the Colony Wars until they later on brokered a fragile peace. Then we have the Ryujin Industries that represents the corporate world of Starfield, similar to corporations like Arasaka in Cyberpunk 2077. Then we have the Crimson Fleet, which seems to be the main pirate faction, and a religious faction filled with fanatics called the House Varun. Each of these factions will have their own planets, or even systems, where their headquarters are located in. One of these locations being New Atlantis, which is the capital city for the United Colonies while the capital of the Free Star Collective is called Aquila, where we can see a clear difference in design philosophy. Now we don't really know about any characters just yet, except for this guy. This is Vasco, who will be one of the available companions that you can explore the universe with. Vasco is equipped with defensive capabilities if need arises, but this being a Bethesda game, he'll probably mainly be used as a pack mule, as it's mentioned that he has a pretty robust payload system aka a large inventory. So he's basically going to be like a metallic version of dog meat from Fallout 4. Now if we take a look at the ship from the trailer, we can see that it's outfitted with all kinds of bits and bobs. There's even a medkit on the wall and the individual in the trailer leaves a rifle on what looks like a workshop table, suggesting that we'll run into hostile situations quite often. Now this being an RPG, the individual in question is most definitely just one variation of how our character can look, since the game will also feature a robust character creation system, just like we've seen in every other Bethesda title. Oh, and speaking of it being an RPG, Bethesda has stated that they want to go back to the roots of old school RPGs, at least when it comes to growing stronger, with a lot of stat building and the like, making this seem like a hardcore RPG fan's wet dream. The ship's cockpit also gets briefly shown, and it looks like it could be outfitted with a weapon system, which could suggest that we'll be seeing ship-to-ship -ship combat. This isn't confirmed, however, so have that in mind. 
Now, while it admittedly is a bit of a bummer that we haven't seen any real details on the main characters yet, it's pretty safe to say that there is going to be an absolutely massive cast. Well, how so? Well, it's been revealed that Starfield has over 150,000 recorded lines of dialogue. Compare that to, say, Skyrim, which had about 60,000 spoken lines, or heck, let's look at a game series that's known for its hefty dialogue, Mass Effect. Together, the Mass Effect trilogy boasted around 85,000 lines. Starfield almost has twice the amount of dialogue crammed into one game, compared to an entire trilogy, which is also set in the sci-fi genre. This, of course, suggests that Starfield will be absolutely monstrous in size. The official poster for Starfield also hints at at least four individuals that will be important to the story. And we can also see the aforementioned companion, Vasco. And looking even closer at the poster, we can see what looks like a mysterious golden structure that rises above a planet. Pieces of concept art has already shown us that we'll be finding things that aren't made by humans, hinting at this game possibly introducing a sort of first contact situation with alien life. Also, the main trailer for Starfield is narrated by a mysterious female voice, wherein she mentions the scope of the universe. They say, the wonder is, not that the field of stars is so vast, but that we have measured it. Now, if we take her dialogue literally, this seems to suggest that the game world will be much bigger than we could ever expect. But if we're gonna be realistic here, it's probably just for world building reasons and setting the tone for the game. Speaking of the size of the game, we haven't gotten an official look at the map yet, but there has been speculation that a background image which gets frequently used in promotional material could be an actual tease for the map itself. The dots visible here could then be possible explorable planets or locations. But I'd take this with a tiny pinch of salt because making that many explorable worlds by hand just seems too good to be true. In other words, I would temper my expectations and expect a handful of worlds and not the hundreds of worlds that this picture would imply. Still, Starfield has been in active development since the release of Fallout 4, which launched in 2015, putting its release date only one day from exactly seven years since they started actively working on it. So considering that it's been in active development for such a long time, we could at least expect Starfield to be the biggest game Bethesda has ever made, and possibly the biggest non-procedural game overall since the last few years. Now since the scope of the game seems so huge, that will undoubtedly also introduce problems that we've come to expect from AAA games nowadays. So a mountain of bugs are almost guaranteed to come with the game. 16 times the detail. And I'm not saying that to be mean. It's just how Bethesda usually does it. <laughs> Starfield will also be the first game to use the new creation engine 2.0, which keeps its namesake of the old creation engine that Bethesda used for Skyrim, Fallout 4, and Fallout 76. This could in essence mean even more bugs, but as it seems like the 2.0 version is almost an entirely different engine altogether, this could also mean that the game will have less bugs than Bethesda games usually has. Starfield will release on the Xbox Series X and PC on the 11th of November 2022. Unless Bethesda decides to delay it, which I doubt that they will at this point. Alright, so are you hyped? Are you worried? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, have a great day guys. Mr. Holton, signing out.